us questions. Nope. This no, is all whatever you guys feel like is important as far as y'all know. I could free twat. You better give me a time limit. Well, I'm, oh, I got you. Go for like, Y'all got a 15 long? minute time 15 limit minutes. between the both of you. So, uh, one seven. Right, so, so, you All go right, first. Yes. Yeah. All right. So, I say that mindset is the missing piece in this business. Like, I find that someone can do all the work. They could be posting the right things, they could be even doing pop ups or parties. Um, but. They're, and they're in it, they're in the business, they're doing all the right things, but there's one thing missing that's not promoting them, that has them not making money, and it's whatever's going on up here. Um, it sounds so simple, but think you can, think you can't, either way you're right. It is really real. Um, so when I truly see someone on my team doing all the right things, but they are just stuck and not moving, it's because something is either going on up here or it's not going on up here. Sometimes it's not so much about um, the doubts and the fears and the unbelief. That's there for some people, actually for most of us, but it's what's not up there that's causing them to not move forward. And what I mean by that is, um, what are you feeding yourself with? What are you listening to? What is on the forefront of your mind consistently? So when I joined this business and how I was able to advance so quickly, Really, it wasn't by any of my own skill. I had no idea what I was doing. And if you remember, I said I failed at five companies prior to this. So I was ignorance on fire, literally. I had no idea what I was doing, but I truly believed that I would earn that $10,000 diamond bonus a month after actually getting started. And some things I did to plant that in my mind, I'm like extreme with this. Like I believe so hard that if you believe in where you're headed and you convince yourself of it, it's like positive brainwash, you will get there. Mm -hmm. So beginning of November, distributor rank, end of December of 2014, I had that bonus. You wanna know what I did every day? I would journal. Oh my God, I just earned the $10,000 diamond bonus. I can't believe it. I would write in a journal every day as if I was recapping what just happened the day before. And I would speak it into ex existence. I would do affirmations every day. I am diamond. I am earning that $10,000 diamond bonus. I would get so extreme. So if you really look into um, like how this works, how I'm like, I start off with the book, The Secret. But if you really yes. look into yes. how like affirmations work and how positive thinking works, it's not just what you're thinking. You're late. It's not um, about it's not just about what you're thinking, it's also what you're feeling. So you could be thinking all the right things, but have a scared feeling in your body. So every morning I would pump myself up. Sometimes I would like jump up and down just to get myself excited. So I create a positive feeling in my body. I use trap music. Go ahead. All right, there you go. So what you, you got to do. Do, what, you gotta do what works for you. So you have to find what works for you to get yourself in a positive state as early as you can. Because if you're anything mm -hmm. like me, usually I wake up to a screaming baby. Like that's my alarm. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, oh my gosh, this baby's screaming. Now I have to roll out of bed. So I have to pump myself up with something positive. And then from there, I start my I am's and I actually have them recorded on my phone. Mm -hmm. It's like a five minute recording. Yeah. I'm just going on and on. I am Ambassador Diamond. I am a number 73 income earner. Claim it, you guys. You gotta start claiming what you want. I kid you not, when I wanted to become a top earner, I think it was number 138. I said, I, will, I am number 138. I put it on my cell phone. It was like the lock screen on my phone. Guys, I was number 138 when they announced it. Yeah. Kid you not, again, I did it again. I'm number 107, became number, I'm not even joking. You need to believe so strongly. It sounds nuts, but it works. Believe so strongly in where you're headed. It's positive brainwash. Jump up and down, act like a maniac, get the positive feelings in your body and, and confirm to yourself where you're headed. And I'm not kidding you when I say, yes, I work hard, but this is the missing piece that some people don't bring into their business that has me where I am. That's why I believe so strongly about it. Your turn. Boom. <laughs> <laughs> they got quiet. They got scared. They said, oh, I feel like. You know, I, I, 
when I think about network marketing and I think about what we have, I honestly think that we have way overload of training and way overload of information and way like it really all is going to boil down to what do you really want what do you want and it's one thing to say what you want there's another to do what you want and most people and i'll say start off your month with writing down what your goal is for the day not even see i'm not thinking about the 30th day of the month i'm thinking about what is your goal today because mm -hmm. if i can't even get you working on today what the i'm sorry what what does it matter <laughs> what your goal is for the end of the month mm -hmm. what is your goal for this week if you're not going to come out the gate acting like you know what i've got to move right now with some urgency so that i don't end an emergency on the last day of the month I'm going to tell you that I can't stand the last day of the month. I can't stand that people wake up the day before. How about the 26th? Like on the on the 28th. You know what? I, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go Ruby today. I'm going to go Ruby for baby. There was 27 other days this month that we could have gone Ruby all month long. And now you wake up today. And granted, I'm grateful that you've woken up. But there's some things that happen on the 27th of the month. Like the system begins to slow down right and we can't correct things on the last day of the month and you wait until you know you answer my call at 10 o'clock on a closeout night on a closeout night i don't so i get invited to birthday parties on the last day of the month i re i decline them oh i know see that's just the, see oh because i mean I, I mean am i not supposed to have a life nina am i not supposed to party see i feel that there's going to be so many more months and years for me to party right when I'm not worried about my paycheck, when I'm not worried about my granddaughter having leaving a legacy for her or my grandchildren to come, I, I feel that we are are stuck in this place where we want pleasure immediately more than we want the long term life of the sustainability sustainability mm -hmm. that our residual income really could offer us. So. That's why I asked you, what was different for you? When you say you came to our meeting, our meeting in Philly, right? She came to our meeting and she was barely a Ruby at that meeting in August. And two weeks later, she goes diamond. Yeah. Woo! Woo! Yeah. That's, awesome. Awesome. That's over 6,000 in volume in two weeks. Nothing changed about the comp plan in those two weeks. Nope. Nothing changed about the products. I don't care. They, it works. Never has to give us another product. I mean, thank you. It boosts the it boosts the volume, but they don't have to give us another product. They don't have to change the comp plan. They changed it in January and gave us three legs instead of five. And people acting like, Still. oh, like it's so hard. No, it was we did it in five. Yeah. Now we're in three, and it's like you can't get three. If we can't get three people. Y'all give me permission to just like keep it real. Yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. If we can't get three people, we need some other kind of training and it's not network marketing training. Mm -hmm. Like the reality of it is there's some simple steps that we're taught to do when we get here. And the first thing is write a list. And then you won't write a list. Then people go on a witness protection program, oh. right? And then they mad at you because they spent 99, I would blow $99 in a 99 cent store. $99 is no, it's not an investment. It's not an investment. And, 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 and so I'm finding that, and there's something, oh, somebody said it earlier. So we have these habits, these things that we're accustomed to doing, right? These habits of making excuses for ourselves. And can I use your, can I use your story as an example? Yeah. I'm talking about oh, I'm like, Is it okay? I always ask permission <laughs> first. Because people think that they want to spend time with me. I am telling you that they really don't. <laughs> because I am a lot of fun. I really am. But I'm going to call you on your stuff. Because there's the only way that I'm going to make you better. Yeah. Right? So, Margarita and I have, to have discussions often. She's one of my brand new Emeralds. She joined the day we joined. Well, she joined that week when I had my private launch party. Um, and she did nothing for like six months, right? Like six months. 
nothing. Oh, she ran that auto ship though. She ain't crazy. She knew if something happened to fall up under her, she wanted to get paid from it, right? <laughs> so <laughs> she did nothing for six months. And the moment that she, what, decided, it was the, nothing changed. She decided. So what changed was her habit. What changed was her mindset. What changed was her desire. What changed was her ethic. She has great work ethic in everything else she does. And it's amazing that people would be so committed to things that bring them no results, no change, no nothing. They'll be so committed. And I'm going to tell you something. If you out there partying and hanging with your girlfriends and they're not your customers, they're not your friends. Exactly. I said it. Yup. Tell them I said it. They're exactly. not your friends. Because I'm not going to party with somebody and spend bar tabs and dinner and travel and all that with people that can't even spend $30 with me a month. Something is wrong with that picture. So we had discussions and we're, and she, now I'm going to tell you guys that Marguerite can work a room. She will leave an event with 50 contacts and then we'll go home and not call one of them. <laughs> <laughs> oh. It don't hurt bad enough for her. See, we think we want it. She has the keys to her freedom in her hands. There's nothing that I said or can do to cause her to shift over to the do. Nothing. I don't care how many calls she gets on. I don't care how much she writes down. I don't care. If she doesn't make the decision to move into the do, she'll stay where she's at. So it has nothing to do with it. You can, and you should come to conference. Absolutely, because something there might just trigger it for you. But it's the moment that you make a decision that I am going to cross this line in the sand. It is not a book that you have to read. It's you, it's the moment you look in the mirror and you say enough is enough. When I decided that, you know what, Nina? You will not be 300 pounds another day of your life. It's almost like my metabolism decided to listen. <laughs> Cause well, before that I must've been lying to myself. <laughs> I was still doing all the things, habits. So you cannot break a habit. Let me be the first, to, I'm sorry. You cannot break a habit. What you can do is replace it with a new one. You can't break a habit. It is, that's why it's a habit. But you can replace it with better things, like not eating the cake. Anna May, you huh? can eat the salad. Oh, cake on top. And, like, the, no, and the string beans. And then reward yes. yourself after you've gotten control of your habit, right? Because most of it is coping. And when you really take a look, if you really, really want to move forward in your business, only really want to move forward in your business. It is not in a step. It is not in a book. It is not in listening to Eric Worre or Tony Robbins. It is not any of those things. It is in looking in the mirror. Looking in the mirror and saying, you know what? My stuff stinks and it needs to change and it needs to change now. That's where it comes. It is when you say, okay, I don't like the way my bank account looks. And, and it's up to me to do something about it. Not my sponsor, not my sponsor's sponsor, not my, not my husband, not my wife. It is not even your husband's job to validate you. If you want to feel beautiful, look in the mirror and kiss yourself. It is no one's job. So we're waiting for all this external validation when everything we need is inside of us. And it is in that moment that you understand that, you know what? I deserve to live this life abundantly like everybody else. And it is in that moment when you make that decision that you will take up your bed and walk like you did. Mm -hmm. Like you did. And went diamond in two weeks. Not two years. Not two months. Nothing changed. That's what I need you. I need you guys to keep. You're waiting for something to change. And the change is waiting for you. <clears throat> Nothing changed. <clears throat> oh, I need to get better at social media. No, you don't. You need to get better at opening your mouth. Amen. No, you don't. I built to millions of dollars with no social media. When I joined network marketing, we had MySpace. <laughs> MySpace was creepy. <laughs> it was creepy. It was creepy. 
Then we had the Periscope thing. Yeah. And that was creepy too. What are you, are, are you kidding me right now? You want to know how to get to Diamond in two weeks? Open your mouth and go talk to people. Yes. Pick up those lists and follow up. Talk to people. What are you going to say when you get them on the phone? Hello. Start there. Hello. See, you're you're like, here's what it is. You join Network Marketing. Tell me when I'm talking too long. Uh -huh. You join Network Marketing. Am I talking too long? Two minutes. Two minutes. Mm -hmm. You join Network Marketing, and now you're like, I'm a little robot. Let me become a network marketer. Ooh, 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 ooh. And I'm saying, be you. Rachel, hello. See, you walking up to somebody like, oh, I gotta get her. I'm a network marketer. Oh, sorry. I'm sorry. That's what you're doing. I'm like, hey, how you doing? Don't be like when somebody says, well, what do you do? I'm a botanical health specialist with a <laughs> algae non-bacteria product with a no. What do you do? I don't know. I just help people from my cell phone. Work from home. I, I like that wording you gave on one of your trainings, but it's wrote down somewhere. It's, it's in my it's Yeah, my yeah I don't understand. Talking like about billion-dollar industry. Yeah, I am a representative from a billion-dollar ever. I work from home, and I'm a representative of a billion-dollar um, industry online. Can I? What? And they be like, what? Billion? I am a part. You are all a part of a billion dollar industry. Listen, they pay attention to that one line right there. What do you a do? A billion dollar industry. I am a something. I got this wrote down. Yeah. It's I, in this phone. <laughs> so I, I, what I'm trying to get you to understand is I'm you're, you're, wait. you're waiting. You're looking to make this like you're making this so much harder. People are not gonna buy your little products. They buying you. Yeah. Yeah. They're buying you. So every morning when I'm drinking my coffee, there are people right now that are gonna become, that are, I've been calling them all morning, like you have not pushed the trigger yet. I will call you until, oh, I will call you until you block me on your phone. Mm -hmm. <laughs> How many times do I follow up? A lot, a lot. I just did the numbers. I taught, I taught training. I've been training it for the last few weeks now, the numbers so you understand. Here's what you don't understand. Give yourselves a break. Ready? You're going to give yourselves a pass. You're going to give yourself permission to understand that the average person does not buy until they've been exposed to something seven to 12 times. And because you talk to them one time, they like, no, I don't want that. You're like, oh, oh my God. See, I knew this wasn't going to work. Mm -hmm. It was one time. You have a, 10 more times to expose them. Exactly. So why do you think you see the people that are having success, oh, y'all posted one time and nobody commented on it. Do you know how many times I get a post, I put up a post and get two comments or two likes? I delete it. I do too. Mm -hmm. I delete it. Because I'm like, somebody bumped their head. They ain't see that one. <laughs> so I delete it. Put it up later. You post one time this month about your product one time. People who have success are posting stories. See, your profile page, your profile picture is not the one that you're in the mirror like with the dust lips. No, get a good picture. Get somebody to take a good picture of you. Make that your profile picture. Your wall is your resume. It's your resume. Stop being on there spammy, spammy, but tell the story in your stories. That's where those stories are. That's where you flood all the product stories, all the success stories in your stories. But your wall is for you. Who are you? When they come to your wall, they should be able to look and see, who is she? What do you know about Nina? What's my daughter's name? Paige. Yeah, Paige. Exactly. <laughs> Many of you, now she has to happen to happen to have met Paige, but most of you know my daughter's name is Paige and you've never met her. How do you know? She's in my stories. I have a granddaughter. Her name is Hendrix. Maybe you don't remember her name, but you know I got one because her and Paige play together, right? You know that I used to have a dog. You don't see a dog anymore. Thank God. I'm so glad that none of y'all asked Paige where's her dog. Okay? He's not here anymore. He's alive. He's just not alive with us. Okay? She wasn't ready for that. Neither was I. So you got to understand. They understand my life. They know that I am a wife that I am a mom, that I'm at all my kids' events, right? I love to travel. I love to what? Cook. Word, but you understand, you, you know my story because you see it. What else do I like to do? 
food and car. What else do I like to do? Y'all come on, y'all watch my stuff all day, every day. Travel. I like to travel. What else? When I'm on my when I'm when I'm on my lives, what do I often do? Sing. Sing. You know my story. So now I am a real person. You want somebody to buy from you, then you look like a whole robot. <laughs> I'm a little network marketer. Boom, bang. No, they don't want to hear that. Who are you? What do you do? I be telling my your story. I can't wait. I can't wait to tell your story. <laughs> I like Target too. I like Target. It's Target. <laughs> it's Target. You see what I'm saying? I don't be. Let me tell you. Paige loves Target. We go to Target. We're in the car. If she sees Target, she's like, "Oh my God, it's Target!" I just feel like we should be getting paid for that, so I stop putting it on social media. Mm -hmm. But she goes crazy. And if Target don't give me a deal, I'm not gonna keep posting her in the car going crazy when Target when we pull up in Target. <laughs> That's why I stopped posting it. But everybody that knows Paige knows that she loves Target. Mm -hmm. She loves shopping. Like, she loves people. Right? So, you got to now, why should someone, anybody can go on itworks.com and order a product. Why should they order it from you? Mm -hmm. Right. Because you're using it. That's why I would think so. One, and because you're using use it. it. Hello. And, and that's the thing. So, I'm telling the story. Well, and that's the one. You know, like, I yesterday was on the subway late at night. And I almost fell on the train at the very late. Oh, what? God. I almost, fell, I almost fell asleep, but I didn't. But thank God. Oh, you know, fell asleep on the train. Got it. I was about to you say, meant okay, that. You, minute, you missed the word there. Okay. And then I had like a, the keto energy stick pack, put it on my tongue, and then I was able. I was still awake when I came home half an hour later, and I was able to. Uh, put mm. stuff on Facebook and also do some things as well oh, until yeah, 2 o'clock. Because you use the product. Yeah. yeah. yeah thing. Without it, I'd be missing my s train station stuff. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I want all y'all to point at Marguerite, who is okay. down 15 pounds. Woo -hoo! Woo -hoo! But guess what? She hasn't posted it on social media now one time. Come on, man. You're supposed to post three pounds. <laughs> I'd have posted. I'm down 0.5 pounds. Yep. 0.5 or half a pound. Two days went by. I done lost See, three pounds. Yes, when yes, you're, once you've had your birthday, your anniversary of your 21st birthday, right. in your 40s, things start shifting and weight doesn't fall off as fast. And when you tell somebody of a certain age that, hey, I lost five pounds, I lost three pounds. I lost five. That is going to, right? Yeah. But they don't want to see you stop there. The problem is you stop at, I lost, because then you celebrate at five pounds and then you gain eight back. Mm -hmm. Right? You can't stop there. But now that she's down 15 pounds, you know, like every five pounds, she's been, that facts tell, but. Sorry, sell. So I don't care. You can hear all this all you want to. If you're going to leave here today and make a decision, that, you know, that was cute. I wrote it down and. We'll be right here at the next event and you'll be crying at the same events and you'll be trying to figure out how to, you know, I'm going and you're going to be going diamond again and there will be no change, but you can make a decision today yes. that you can leave here today and in two weeks time be a diamond. Yep. Ooh. All right. Next. Time. Actually, I went, all right, I went diamond in, in seven days. So it can happen. Ruby in, in like an hour, three hours, I'm sorry. And that same week went diamond in seven days. Yeah. Next panel.